Today, we're going to go over some of the common closing costs you may encounter in a conventional loan. Let's get right into it. So this conventional loan was for 185, 185,000. This buyer put 5% down. So the total loan amount was for 175,750. And I'll just be going through these post-it notes, revealing the additional fees. So stay with me. I'm Shahida Hill, getting you over the hill to home ownership and helping you confidently buy your first home. So the next one is your lender fees. So your lender fees are what the lender charges you for the loan. This one had a commitment fee of $599, an underwriting fee of $599, an appraisal fee of $415 a credit report fee of $88.25, a flood certification fee of $12, that's to make sure your home is not in a floodplain, and then there's a MERS fee, all of these random fees. So this is a mortgage electronic registry system fee, just to make sure that your um, home is on that database. That was $11.95. And then lastly, at, for lender fees, we have prepaid interest of $331. Now, when you close, for example, this example closed in February. If you close in February, your first payment is not due until April. So if you the month that you close, you generally skip a month and your first payment is due that next month. So you do, however, have to pay your prepaid interest at closing so you don't have to pay an entire mortgage payment but you will pay the prepaid interest for that month and so they'll calculate that by day depending on the day that you close so your total lender fees are two thousand fifty six dollars and twenty cents i want to say one thing really quickly some lenders will require you to pay your appraisal fee up front so don't be so surprised if they ask you to pay your appraisal fee prior to closing. But you will get a credit for your appra appraisal at closing. So next we have closing attorney and title fees. Some states are closing attorney states, meaning you have to close with a closing attorney. Some states you close with a title company. So these are some of the fees you may encounter. So a closing fee charged by the attorney or or title company of $695, lender's title insurance of $195. Now, the title is your ownership of the home, and a lot of times that title has to be transferred between the seller to the buyer, and the lender's going to require title insurance to make sure if there's any problem with the chain of title, the ownership from one party to the next, they're covered. So lender's title insurance is not optional you have to pay it and then you have a title binder just another fee charge $75 your title exam and review is 225 and that's just to make sure they review the title and there's nothing that they see that may be a title issue that needs to be worked out prior to closing and then your owner's title insurance that's the title insurance for your protection if there's any issues with the title. Now, you don't have to get this. However, it's widely, widely recommended by all attorneys, most real estate agents. This is something you should get to protect yourself. Remember, this is your most expensive asset. So don't try to save you know, you know, a little bit of money at closing when you're trying to, again, insure yourself against any large losses. So get the title insurance um, policy for yourself and generally speaking it is less expensive for you to get the title insurance yourself at closing it's um you get a discount because you're getting the lender's policy and you're getting your policy at the same time and usually it's very difficult there's usually a time limit to add it after you know you close so just be mindful of that your total attorney attorney and title fees for this will be two thousand forty dollars and thirty cents now, you know the government has to get some money during this closing, so let's look at this. Your government fees, your government fees and taxes. So you have to record your title at the local courthouse, that's $50. 
You're gonna pay a fee to the state, that's $10. And again, these are examples, I'm in Georgia, so these are examples for Georgia, but it's a good idea to ask your agent or ask your closing attorney, title company, what are the typical fees that I have to pay in taxes at closing? And this should also, your lender, of course, will have this in on their loan estimate as well. Intangible tax of $528. You have a transfer tax of $185. That brings your total to $773 in government fees and taxes. Now, our next set of fees are impounds. And impounds are basically money that they're going to collect at closing to set up your escrow account. And for many people, this is not optional. You have to have an escrow account Unless you're putting 20% or more down, it might be optional, but you need to check with your lender. So your escrow account is where the mortgage company is going to save your insurance payments and your, um, your property tax. So little by little, every month in your mortgage, they're going to be, be collecting one twelfth of your, um, your future property tax payment and one twelfth of your future home insurance payment. So when they come due, they pay them directly for you. Remember, this house is collateral for the mortgage. If you stop paying the mortgage, they're coming to get the house and they wanna make sure that the house is going to have insurance and the taxes are going to be paid. They do not trust you to pay the taxes and the insurance on your own. That's what the escrow account is about. If you haven't watched my escrow account video, please watch that. Um, so what, what are they going to collect? And this may vary by lender. So for this example, they collect th collected three months in advance of homeowner's insurance. So that was $306.24. And they collected five months of property tax payments. And that was $714.05 for a total of $1,020. Now, they are collecting this now because they want to make sure when taxes are due that you have enough to cover it. And it's very important for you to know, not only do they send you the bill, the county or the city that you live in, they will send you a tax bill. They will also send the bill to your mortgage company. The same with homeowner's insurance. They'll send you a bill so you're aware of the bill and then they'll send one to your mortgage company as well. But your mortgage company will pay the bill out of your escrow account. All right, some other fees. Now this property happened to be in the HOA community, so there were HOA fees. Now the HOA fees, again, this closed in February. So the seller was responsible for January HOA fees, and then the buyer's responsible for February through the end of the year. So their portion of the HOA fees was $158.70. And so not a really expensive HOA. And they also have an HOA initiation fee. So as, as a new um, buyer in the community, they generally charge you an initiation fee of some sort to help them with their um, any setup that you need or just to make sure they have enough money in their HOA account for new, um, new buyers. So that was $150. I've seen as high as $3,000 for initiation or if you're in really expensive communities, it could be a lot more. The more amenities, generally speaking, that you get, the, the higher the initiation fee may be. And then, then homeowner's insurance premium. And I know you're thinking, um, Shahida, I already paid homeowner's insurance in my escrow. You have to pay for one year up front. So one year is already paid. You're prepaying your homeowner's insurance. So homeowner's insurance premium is $1,225 for this example. And then, so you have a total now of $1,533.70. Now let's get to our totals. Our total for closing costs was $7,423.49. So that was your closing cost. Let's see it all together. What do you need cash to close? Your down payment, remember this um, buyer put 5% down. So the down payment is $9,250. And the closing costs again were $7,423. And then that gives you a total that you need to bring to closing of 
$673.49. Now, the way this number gets reduced, if you paid earnest money, your earnest money will get subtracted from this amount. If the seller is contributing to your closing costs, it will be subtracted from this amount. And if you've made any payments to the lender or the closing attorney, anybody outside of closing where you prepaid like the appraisal, you'll get a, um, a credit for that as well. So just be mindful of that. That's how this amount gets reduced. And lastly, are you wondering what the payment would be on this kind of a loan? So the principal and interest, this was, this interest rate was 2.75. Principal and interest was $717. Taxes, $142.80. Homeowner's insurance, $102.08. PMI, that's private mortgage insurance. That's something you have to pay if you put less than 20% down. It protects, whoop, it protects the lender in case you default on the loan. So our total amount due every month in mortgage payment is $1,034.88. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments and please join me every week for new videos.